What's going on everybody? It's Cam here at All Things Automotive and today we have a 2019 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. Um, sounds like a crossover SUV. Um, one owner on this one, right around 15,200 miles. Um, no accidents or anything like that on the auto check vehicle history report. So uh, we'll go ahead and do a little walk around here on the outside to show you what's going on. We'll start here in the front. Now it's, uh, I don't know what the, it's like a really, I want to say it's not a royal blue because it's definitely brighter than royal blue, but um, big fog lights integrated in the front bumper. Nice little chrome trim that goes around the bumper as well as around the headlights. Makes it look nice. Uh, walk around the side here. Nice Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi style wheels on this one. So you've got a full set of uh, Falcon tires on there and brand new brakes and rotors as well. Um, so his tires are, I mean, I can't even touch the bottom of the tread, so there's plenty of tread left on them. So a little bit of chrome trimming around the doors and stuff like that. Like I said, full matching set of Falcon tires, or Falcon, and uh, brand new brakes and rotors in the rear as well. So, I'm gonna just take a little step back, let you have a look at the rear end here. Let's see, it has integrated backup cam right there. I'm gonna open it up though, so you guys can have a look on the inside. Second row seating, a little bit, actually a decent amount of space here for as little as um, the overall size of the vehicle is. In the rear hatch, I mean, uh, definitely plenty of room. You got full size spare in there as well, though. That's something you don't see all the time. Also, there's all the tools and stuff in there, Jack. So a lot of vehicles anymore don't come with full size spares, so that's good on this one. Take a little peek here in the back seat. Like I said, it definitely looks like there's plenty of room in here. Um, Step down in the back looks pretty nice. Seats are very well taken care of. Nice design on the seats as well. A little bit of carbon fiber esque kind of uh, design on the door handles. Go ahead and just pop inside here to show you all the features on the inside. Um, like I said, the carbon esque kind of feature falls into the front door handles. Um, door locks and window controls up top. Also, it is up here, um, which is kind of cool. Um, I like how this is set up for your uh, directional, for your mirror controls and stuff like that. So um, it's not an electronic seat. Um, so it does have one to pump the seat up and down um, as well as it does have one to lay it forward and back. And then your slider bar underneath. So. Let's hop inside here. Um, left side of the dash, has your traction control button there. Um, as well as it looks like you have a couple scroll throughs up here um, for on your, your dash here. So we'll go ahead and uh, light it up so you can see what I was going on the dash. Stop dinging. There you go, you got 15,249 at the time of this video. Um, so left side looks like you have a scroll through as well as your volume controls here, and then your controls for your hands-free um, talking and your phone calls and stuff like that. Right side looks like it has cruise control. Um, left side has your turn signals and headlight con controls here as well. And then the right side has your uh, wiper stuff and stuff like that. Also looks like it has a rear wiper as well. So there's a rear wiper controls there as well. So um take a look down here. It does not have dual zone climate. So the right side on this one, um, which is usually this is the left side, but the right side is your fan control and the left side is your temperature control. Um it does have an eco mode, um a little bit better fuel economy that way if you would like. Um it does have a 12 volt cigarette style lighter in there. This is actually just a plug. Um, does not actually have a cigarette lighter in there. Um, radio up top is a touchscreen. Um, looks like it already has some serious stations that were uh, presets before. So, um, let me see here though. Oh, maybe it doesn't have serious. I thought it did. Um, so I do apologize. It does not look like it has serious. It's AM, FM. Um, but you can do Bluetooth with your phone. I'm going to do it that way. Let's go to the home screen here. Yeah, so there you go. You get all your settings right there. AM, FM, USB. Um, that we can connect your iPod or your iPhone or anything like that. If you just prefer to play music off your phone, you can also use Bluetooth as well. And then it has all your phone and then your um, settings for your radio as well. So um, full center console on this one still has the hand style e-brake. Um, I should just pull it out by accident. Um, two cup holders here. A little bit of storage there in the center console. Um, what else can I show you? I think that's about it. So we'll go ahead and hop out here and do a little bit of a walk around just to show you any apologies this may have 
Being it's 19, I highly doubt it has anything wrong with it, but I'm uh, trying to be as transparent as possible. So, start here at the front. Take a look at the hood. Just a couple little stone chips there. Nothing, nothing big. Take a walk down. The mirrors look good. Door panels and everything look really nice. Top of the roof looks good. Doesn't look like anybody had a roof rack or anything on it. No scratches from tree branches or like that or anything in it at all. Take a walk around the back. Looks pretty good around here. Looks like we have a little scratch here on the rear bumper. Um, like I said, nothing to worry about. Uh, most of the time, the rear bumper fascia gets pretty beat up anyways. Um, people loading stuff. Take a little peek there. No scratches or anything on the plastic either. So. Passenger side looks really good. Take the top, look at the top of the doors here. Don't see anything with them. Like I said, no roof rack or anything. It looks like it was on this. Got a little peek at the roof here. Shark fin antenna up top. So, yeah, guys, overall, this thing is a really, really nice vehicle. Um, if you have any questions about this 29, 2019 uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross, please feel free to give us a call. At 717-485-4224. Um, sales extension is 1502. Um, if you don't feel like you have time to call us, you can always look us up on the web at thomasaca.com and request information about this vehicle as well as any other vehicles we have on our lot. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and hope you have a wonderful day.